Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel and this video where I'm gonna do another quick chat about socialism and how all around us we're surrounded by Soviet style subversion tactics that are designed to bring our culture down, bring our society down, so that ultimately some form of dictatorship will be able to rise from the ashes of the, the destroyed society that we are headed for right now. So now they are using celebrities as KGB agents. Like It's not really new, but it's getting more and more obvious. And I want to point out today uh, the new video that, uh, the, the new venture, I should say, that Celine Dion is involved in, which is to make gender neutral baby clothes. So there's a commercial uh, where she is promoting this and she's going around into a nursery where there's the girl, the baby girls on one side and the, 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 the boys on the other side. And she sprays dust. I'll, I'll just show you the video. Okay, I'm Celine Dion. Our children, they are not really our children, as we are all just links in a never-ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, we are only a fraction of their universe. I can't believe they call security. I'm not spending the night in jail. Holy shit. Oh. Easy. I'm Celine Dion. Yeah, girl, and I'm Beyonce. I'm calling my agent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we've seen what this video is, we have to realize this is a very, very blatant sub subversion tactic. What they're trying to do here, the over, um, the overarching idea is to blur the lines between genders so that we're confused, blur the lines of reality so that we're confused, indoctrinate the kids so that they don't know what's true and what's not, what's real, what can be uh, scientifically fact-based versus what is just an idea or a theory or something that somebody says. Blur all the lines between all of that is the ultimate goal with these uh, with these videos and what, what the subversion tactic behind it is. Think about it. Celine Dion, <laughs> she's only lending her name to this, to this um, baby clothes company name, right? It's not even her own company. Like, why would she do this? At this stage in her career, she's done so well. She's made billions of dollars. She doesn't need to go and lend her name uh, to a company to make more money and think about the baby clothes market it's not even that big there's not that many babies being born in the west anyways not very many babies born in china and as if the chinese are going to start blurring the lines between gender they're not going to do it so really who are you targeting here it's like such a, a small percent of the market that it's barely even worth anybody's time let alone somebody who's just going to go in and, and lose money so she probably will likely lose money in this kind of venture but she doesn't need the money she doesn't care I don't know if she realizes she's being used as, as an agent of subversion. Basically, uh, she's a, a KGB agent now. I don't, I, does she realize? I don't think she does. I think she's being bought by somebody or, or told by somebody that this is what she should do. And she herself didn't really research any of this, doesn't know. Um, like, she could buy like all the clothing companies that are in America right now. Like She could buy all of them. She doesn't need to put her name to a baby company. She doesn't care. She's had her kids. She's assigned, she has, she's assigned the gender. She's accepted that her kids were male or female. She didn't try to push on them that, that they become something else. But yet now she's trying to push this ideology on other people's kids. So easy for KGB agents to enforce this, right? They, they don't do this to their own families, but they want you to do it to your family. So anyways guys, um, sounded a little bit like a rant today. I'm off to work now so I gotta uh, cut this short but um, but you know just think about it and realize what is happening into our society. Write in the comments what you think and uh, I look forward to reading it. See you in the next one.